Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Persia's invading Coruscant again. God damn it, Persia. Hooray! We are back in the land of Novgobar. Last episode, we peaced out with Bohemia. After doing what to the Empire? I'm sorry, what, what Empire are you talking about? There is no Empire, you sick son of a bitch. We got rid of that thing. I can't believe we got rid of that. How lucky were we that there was an opportunity to... Uh, dismantle the Empire. That that never fucking happens, right? And then it did. And it's like, what? And you're like, what? And I'm like, what? And then it happened. I'm like, Eee. I had a stupid grin on my face the whole episode last time, just because, just because we dismantled the Empire. Oh, goodness. And now we have this wonderful land that connects uh, over here into inland Germany, which is fantastic. All this Bavarian and Saxon, Saxon, Saxon uh, territory. And we're selling some Saxon land to our Saxon vassal, Brandenburg. Hopefully he'll also buy Saxon Oberlausitz, because I don't want to core that shit. That's 182 admin points that I don't want to pay. Bohemia, of course, has the aristocratic idea group. Uh, no, they don't. Well, then why does it cost so much? I see the increased coring cost thing. Oh. I guess it's just normal. Bohemia is one of those just automatic, oh, I'm Bohemia, therefore it's 100% more cost than everyone else. Fuck that. I really hate that. Anyway, so we're going to tell as much of that to our vassal as possible so we don't have to deal with that 100% extra as well. Uh, our vassal down here is purchasing land, which is great, but he's not coring it. I think he's just spent all his admin points on something dumb. Uh, I really wish he would core this land so we could sell him this one, but... We're not done converting it anyway, so I guess there's no real rush. In the meantime, I do want to go annex Atse. So when is that truce up? 1774. Five more years. So ten years have gone by, five more years to go, and then we can go annex and release him as a vassal. Uh, we may... We may annex Malacca at that time. Because we've had Malacca as our vassal for 10 years now. Oh no, we haven't. It's only been 3 years. Okay. Okay, I'll play your game, you rogue. If that's the case, then what do we want to annex? Brandenburg, maybe. No, because he's call he's he's buying land. He's actively buying and coring lands for me. So I don't want to annex him yet. Uh, well, shit. Syria, the Mamluks, Punjab. No, they're all doing God's work. I mean, Punjab maybe? But the thing is, Punjab is in this delicious tech, uh, delicious culture group, so we could potentially sell him a whole bunch of this land. Uh, but at the same time, we haven't been to war with any of this shit down here and for fucking ever, so maybe it's just never going to happen. I honestly don't know. I wonder if Hedges would join us in a war against Persia. He does want an alliance, and uh, does he hate Persia? You bet your ass he hates Persia. Hmm. Well, that's a possibility then. If we declare on Persia, then it won't be a coalition war against the Ottomans. The Ottomans will come in, they will take over as leader of the war, uh, and they will drag in the Netherlands, but we won't be able to separately piece out Persia, but we can still bloody up the Ottomans quite a bit. And I think that's going to be the plan. I guess that's what we'll do next. We'll declare war on Persia. We'll get an alliance with Hedges. We'll get everyone involved, because Hedges has claims and cores and shit, right? Yeah, Hedges has cores all over the place. Uh, we'll get everyone involved, and then we can get our vassals some land back, because there's tons of Egyptian cores over here. All right. Sounds good. Good. Good, 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 good. Because we can't just declare on the Ottomans. They're in the coalition. And France needs a little bit of time to recover anyway. Lick his wounds, right? Because he was... He was really, 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 uh, how do you say, uh, bloodied, beat up, not destroyed, but bloodied and beat up are probably useful terms to describe France in that war. We did, we did give him a little chunk of land, and he's coring it like a good little Frenchie. Um, I hope he enjoys paying the increased coring cost because of quote-unquote Diplomatic Defense Act, whatever the fuck that is. Ah, oh, goodness. Anyway, let us continue. Continue? Mm. Uh, why don't you roll down... Oh, we can't go through there, right. I should have taken Mecklenburg. If I had taken this province, we could walk back and forth through France's territory. I am an idiot. But you know what? That'll have to wait for next war, I guess. 
We should probably lock a diplomat here to get relations up, because he doesn't hate us that much. Hmm. Hmm. We could also annex Lithuania. That's possible. That's on the docket. Wow, I, I, I have so many options right here. Anyway, let's walk around. There you go. Walk around. Let's go down to Trepson. There you go. You guys can split in half. And I want you down in Azerbaijan. No. Kurdistan and Durkadur. And you can go this way. And then follow to Kurdistan. There. Okay, so we'll have one, two, we'll have four stacks on the Ottoman's border. We should be able to flood in and prevent him from getting down here. We'll let the vassals do the work down here, since they have cores. And that should do it. That should be fine. I don't think we're going to need all the armies. We'll leave two guys up here. I'll take the general. We can take this stack, though. So why don't you guys come down and help? Why don't you go to Sinop? There you go. Okay, let's go. Holy shit. Now, we still have some land that we need to sell. We have 48 OE. I'm not going to core any of this crap. Well, I am coring Retibor because no one's going to buy that. Uh, but Oberlausitz, I'm going to hope to sell. So, yeah. Mm. Fast forward, I guess. And let's watch the coalition change. Immediately after the war, Bohemia left the coalition. But then again, after the war with the Ottomans, the Ottomans left the coalition as well, and now they're back in it. So I guess it's not, you know, permanent. Wait, why are the Ottomans at war? What is this? Oh, that's right, he declared on Epirus. And Epirus, of course, has no allies, no marriages, no nothing. No one's helping Epirus. Silly. Silly! Free the Slavs? No. There's, there's no point. What was that? The Ottomans sent a warning to Bohemia. Well, how about I send a warning to you, you sack of crap? Take that, Ottomans. Yeah! Yeah, yo. You know, I should have warned Persia. I'm a dummy, because Persia's attacking Coruscant. I could have warned him. I guess I'll warn him now. Can't believe I didn't warn Persia. Are we still losing money? Is this just reinforcements? Sort of. We are actually genuinely losing money. We're not even at our force limit, so that's surprising. Why are we losing money? It's not colonies, it's not the fleet. Advisors. We could get rid of an advisor, but I think it's just a matter of we should be making more money. Oh, we need to stop embargoing Bohemia because we can no longer have him as a rival. That would be part of it. Oh, no, we can put Bohemia back in there. Okay. Now do we make more money? Seven ducats, uh, I guess. Has my navy still not arrived? Wow, get up there. This navy's taking forever to get here. There you go, on the boat. Uh, do I need you down here? Probably not, but no, I don't. So just drop them off over here. I've already got 45,000 guys down there. I don't need more. Coruscant, yep. Oh my god, everyone needs access. Stop needing access. Stop being so needy. You needy bastards. And core faster. Alright, who do we want to get relations up with? Maybe Mecklenburg. Work on them a bit. And maybe Bavaria? No, they're already topped out. There's no point doing Bohemia. Maybe Cologne? Cologne? Cologne. 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 Or Hesse? Bohemia, Magdeburg, Mecklenburg. Let's do Hesse. I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. Rebels! Oh, come on. We lost our Raqqa as a claim. That's that's my vassal's land. I don't care. 
Hmm, rebels. Well, you know what? I guess we can go meet up over here in Simbursk. We'll take them out. The Netherlands has sent a warning to Munster. Okay. Fine by me. Uh oh, finished our colony. Good, finally. Still have a long way to go on these colonies. Opposing military schools. Hmm. Lose stability or lose stability? Lose stability, lose stability, lose stability, lose stability, lose stability. Lose stability, lose stability, lose stability, lose stability, lose stability, lose stability, or lose stability. I think we're gonna go with lose stability, but don't don't assume that that's the right answer. I honestly don't know what the right answer is there. Oh shit, more rebels. More rebels. Damn it. Stop rebelling. Oh shit, that's a big rebellion. Alright, you guys. Go pick up these clowns. Are you done converting that yet? No? Almost done. Okay. And get up here to the fight. Get in there and fight, maggot. Come on. Hey, we converted Patani. Uh, I also want to convert this, but I can't do it while there's a fight going. But I can sell this now. No, I can't because he hasn't cored it. Core that piece of shit. It's a base two. Core it. <laughs> Core it. Why aren't you coring a base two province? Oh, thank God we won that. That was such a close battle. Hmm, 47 ducats from trade is not great. But it's not awful either. I mean, it's just, I wish there was more trade here. How about Lubeck? No, there's not a whole lot there either, although we could push a lot more in. France has all the territorial power there. Uh, look at that. He only has three provinces on this node, but it's enough considering he has Lubeck. Alright, roll this way, please. And then come down to, I don't know. Go to ready, and then we'll, we'll carve you up from there. Pagu declared war on Ayatthaya. Really? Pagu declared war on Ayatthaya. Whoa. Does that mean Joe and Munchu are going to fight? Yes, it does. Joe and Munchu. Well, I guess they're, they're kind of far away, but still. Uh, Munchu took over leadership, right? Let's see, Pagu... No, Ayutthaya remained leader. Wow, that was unexpected and weird. Hmm. Alright, whatever. And we discovered Huilamapu. Hello. So we're starting to see some of the new, new world. Not a whole lot, though, because we're still Eastern tech. If we were Western tech, we could see all of this by now. But uh, we're not Western tech, so it's kind of a problem. And it looks like the 13 colonies and French Canada did manage to white peace or whatever. So they, that didn't actually devolve into a war. I thought for sure France and England were going to devolve into a war over that crap, but apparently it wasn't to be. They didn't want war. For whatever reason. Group up. And uh, if the Ottomans are suspicious that I have, you know, 100,000 troops on their border, they shouldn't be. Oh, good! Ceremony disrupted! For whatever reason, there's... Whatever. Just lose 33 prestige for no reason. Thank you. It's like, sure, did you work hard to get that prestige? Uh-huh. It's all gone. It's what? It's gone. Aw. It's gone. Let it go. It'd be great if you could see coring progress. But you can't. You can see it says it'll take three years, but that's for me. It probably doesn't take him as long... 
Although it might. I honestly don't know how long it would take him. And uh, this guy won't buy anymore because he has not cored the one that I sold him. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, Malacca is overextended. Well, stop being overextended, and you can do that by coring a province. It's a base two. It takes like 15 admin or 30 admin. Just core it. What are you doing? <laughs> what is he doing? Ah, Prince Muhammad. Why? Why must you do this to me, Prince Muhammad? Yeah, Brandenburg's like, hey, give it to me, I'll core it. And he's doing exactly that. On the boat you go. And down to Lampung, please. Thank you, sir. All these motherfuckers in the coalition. Such a pain in the butt. Now we could go an next Chugatai. I'm not sure I want that land, but it's there. And the same thing applies to the Tim Tims. It's like, well, it's there. You know? But I think attacking Persia is going to be a better step. I would just like to sell some more land first. But that doesn't seem to be a possibility, does it? No. What is one unit doing up there? Who knows? Alright. Uh, France, how you doing on troops, dude? Doesn't look very good, to be honest. 50, 26. How's his manpower? Uh, he has no manpower. Alright, so we'll wait for France's manpower to come back. I mean, he could fight the Ottomans right now, but I would prefer if he had manpower. You know, you know, maybe. Just manpower. Are you coring? Oh, he's finally fucking coring. Look at that fancy dress. Wow. Pretty badass looking there, Mr. Malacca Man. I mean, at least he's at least he finally started, right? So this says it'll take 36 months, but that's me. Uh, I don't think it would take him that long, because it's his culture group, and it's his religion. Uh, and it borders him directly, so it should be pretty quick. Uh, same thing over here. I think it takes about a year for the AI to core this shit. Although, that that may have changed in 1.7. I honestly have not played with 1.7 very much, so there could be some dramatic differences as far as how long it takes uh, these guys to core provinces. Your vassals, I mean. Could be a while. I don't know. Oh, look, Rebels. Goody, I love Rebels. I fucking adore Rebels. Fuck your game. Fuck you right in the asshole. I mean, they're lovely, right? They're beautiful. They're wholesome. Like a good cereal. <laughs> oh, goodness. We're still losing nine ducats a month. I think we're just going to have to kick one of these advisors. Mm, I mean, 17 ducats a month doesn't sound like much. Mm, yeah, just boot him. Screw it. I'll take the money. I'll take the money. Core it. Okay, he finished. Yay, that was quick. That was like a year. Yep, he'll buy it. Great. Price, neighbors, same culture. Yeah. He loves that it borders him, and he loves that it's his culture. You know what I love? I love that you bought it so I don't have to core the damn thing. 
Oh, uh, that's the best part. Yeah, you know, Brandenburg looks looks like a turd. Tell me that doesn't look like a turd just sitting there. God damn it, Brandenburg. You're beautiful, except that you're a, a polished turd. Alright, hurry up and finish this this core so I can sell it to you before I go to war with the Ottomans, because that would be ideal. Lampung doesn't really matter that much, because Lampung, I can just give that to Atse. Assuming... Uh, let's see, Khorasan will seed Road to Persia. Khorasan will pay 58,000. Oh, it's not that bad. Not that bad. <laughs> wow, we have Revolt Risk in Krako? For what? Non accepted culture and overextension. Really? I am quite surprised, but okay. Hmm, Convectal Act. Tolerance. No, kind of need that tolerance. Well, sort of. Sort of kind of need. Sort of kind of need that, don't we? Loss of claim on Yichuan. That's probably fine. I mean, we'll we'll fabricate it again just for shits and giggles, but I don't think we really need claims on Ming at this point. We're pretty much done with Asia, I think. Pretty much. Pretty much. Oh, God. Sicily annexed the Pope. Sicily, you bastards. How could you? And he's going to keep it? He's going to keep it. He's going to keep the... Po Are you kidding me, Sicily? You dick. Does that mean Trier is going to release them? Probably. There's no Pope. There's no Pope. Huh, what do we do? There's no Pope. However... Yeah. Woohoo! That gives us an extra merchant. And we now get national trade income plus 10%. Nice. So where the hell do we want our extra merchant? Uh, I don't know. We have a merchant in Kiev. Merchant in Novgorod. Merchant in the Baltic. Merchant in Lubeck. We're transferring. We might just want to collect over there. Uh... I don't know. We could transfer from Samarkand. I mean, with all these merchants, we could just push all the way over. Holy shit. Yeah, in Lubeck, we're transferring trade power. Oh, it's transferring the wrong way. Apparently, we have no choice on where it transfers. Oh, shit. Let's set him to collect instead. Better than nothing, right? Wow, I was pushing all that trade forward. I'm a dum dum. Holy shit, I'm a dum dum. Uh, I'm a dum dum. We, we were pushing trade out of Lubeck towards the Netherlands. How stupid am I? Oh, here we go. Transfer. That'll work. But it's only 3.73 ducats. It feels like it's not transferring much money, you know? We're only pushing 3.7 ducats out, and down here we're only pushing 6 ducats. Up in Novgorod, we're pushing 20 ducats. Uh, Krakow, we're pushing 6 ducats, and then we're collecting here in the Baltic. Hmm. Might want to push from Ostrakhan, but it's so low value. Uh, oh, we do have half of the power in Persia. We could push from Persia. You know what? I'm going to get out of Lubeck. Uh, let me transfer from Persia. Lubeck, 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 Lubeck. Bingo. And see how that goes over. See if we can't push more shit forward. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, that wouldn't go. Shit! I thought Persia went north. It doesn't. It goes to Constantinople. God damn it, I'm a fucking moron. And now I have to wait for that guy to go there 37 days. You can't cancel him or anything. Shit. Shit. What about uh, Ostracon? There's like nothing here. Uh, Persia. There you go. Oh, okay. So you can... He doesn't even have to... He doesn't even have to arrive yet. Okay. 
Remove the Kazan merchant? Why? He's pushing... Oh, because we have full control. So you don't need him if you have full control. See, this is something that I've never known. If you have full... I am reading chat. God damn it. Shut your hole. <laughs> that is the least helpful thing to say. So if you have full control, does that mean you do not need a merchant there? This is what I'm asking. Anyone? Okay, thank you. Alright, Samarkand, so yeah. From Kazan, okay. Uh, same thing for Novgorod. No, Novgorod actually has a little bit of Europe in here. Do we need the guy in Novgorod? Do we need the guy in Novgorod? I mean, I guess, because Novgorod has two exits. Okay, so if we don't have this guy in Novgorod, it'll split trade between the Baltic and the White Sea. So we need the guy in Novgorod, so it will make sure it goes to the Baltic. I guess that's okay. Um, the Kiev guy, we're pushing towards Novgorod. That's probably fine. The Crimea guy, we're pushing towards Kiev. That's fine. The Kroko guy, we're pushing towards the Baltic. That's fine. Uh, Ostrakhan guy, we are pushing towards, I assume, Kazan. I guess. Okay. And Samarkand, we're going to push towards Ostrakhan. Trade capital is in the Baltic. All right, and... Wait, what the fuck? What the fuck is an oligarchic republic? National tax and stability cost. Wait, what? Where's my merchant republic? Don't tell me they changed merchant republics for 1.7. They must have. They must have. Oh. Why, why? Can I not do Merchant Republic anymore? Oh my fucking god. We can't do Merchant Republic anymore. You're kidding me. I mean, it was in this list previously. It used to be in this list. And it said all we needed was to finish the trade idea group. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, if anyone knows how to do it now, let me know. Because we're currently a noble republic. And we need to be a merchant republic. You can only do it through a decision. Well, what decision is it? And how do we get that decision? How do we get that decision? Now oh, there's Scotland. So this was Scotland as released by France. He is an island. The island of Atikameku. With his capital, Temukua. Hello, Scotland! Good guy, Scotland. Okay, let's tack up. Finally. All right, let me click that real quick. Uh, you have to be less than 10 provinces? Are you kidding me? You're fucking kidding me. You have to have less than 10 provinces. Wow. Wow. Well, that's not going to happen. You know, it used to be in this list here. It used to be in 1.6. It was in this list. And it had an X. 
and it said that we needed to finish the trade idea group so we just did that and now it's not in that list of governments to choose <laughs> oh that's so stupid All right, Chagtai gave some land to the Tim Tims. That's fine. Have you cored this yet? Nope, he's still coring it. Finish your core. I beg of you, finish your core. Please. Please? No? As soon as you finish your core, I'm going to sell a piece of province. I'm going to sell a piece of land to you, and then I'm going to declare war on Persia. Essentially, the Ottomans. So please, finish your core. How's France doing on the old manpower? France has 13 manpower. <laughs> Good job, France. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hurry up with your core, you piece of shit. I have no patience for you today. What the hell? Rebels in Laodong. We haven't had rebels there in forever. 6.8 revolt risk? From what? When did... What? There hasn't been revolt risk up here in forever. Oh well, whatever. Take them out. Hmm. Interesting. Bureaucratic despotism looks pretty nice. I, I don't even know how to get there. But, uh, yeah, it looks like we can't do Merchant Republic anymore. Isn't that sad? Because when, when we started the game, we were Merchant Republic. And we had the plan on going Noble Republic and Admin Republic to do a few certain important things. And then going back to Merchant Republic by taking the trade ideas, which I have just completed. And now we can't do that. I am very disappointed. But he did finish coring this thing. So let's get you guys home and get ready to declare our war. If I can sell you a piece of land, a piece of clay. Stop rebelling, I need to sell land. I wonder why we have revolts. I don't know. No, he's gonna pay me 60, 80 ducats, look at that. Thanks for the 80 ducats, dude. All right. Still have our truce for two more years, so Atze is going to have to wait a bit. Weedabix? Yeah, something like that. And yeah, Persia, you're on the docket. Uh, am I even going to bother invading Persia? I guess we'll, we'll have to, but France should be helpful, right? France, who has 120,000 troops here... Ottomans have less than that, but the Ottomans have what's known as quote unquote manpower. So we'll see how that goes. But that war is going to have to wait until next time. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. You have been you. I'll see you next time for the next invasion of the Ottomans, where hopefully we'll be feeding Persia, the Mamluks, and maybe ourselves. Do we have claims? I don't think we have claims. No, we have we have one claim, but probably won't be feeding any land to ourselves. But if we do, it'll be something like uh, taking land and then releasing a vassal. But there is no Bulgaria, so that's not going to happen. Uh, Serbia, maybe? Yeah, we could release Serbia. Yeah, we could release Serbia. Oh, maybe I should fabricate on that. How about we fabricate on that? That sounds like a good idea, huh? What do you think about the whole, you know, fabricating on that? Fucking hell, man. Anyway, we'll do that next time. I'll see you then. Have a good day.